So one thing we brought up, we kind of mentioned, we were thinking about this because one, you know, what Ash started in the original Alien was is introducing these artificial humans, these androids, and there is an android in almost every other Alien film uh, from here on out, from Bishop, of course, in the second one. There is not one in Alien Three, although technically Bishop is in Alien Three. Yeah, uh, just half of him is in Alien Three. Uh, you know, Alien, you know, Alien Resurrection has one, of course. Prometheus and Covenant both have them, and of course, now recently with Alien Romulus. So, Patrick, we are going to rank our androids from six to one. There's a six. There's six total androids. Uh, just to technically seven if you count Rook. From Romulus. Yeah, I, yeah. I, uh, do you want to do? Do you want to add seven, or do you want to? I, I can, I can throw a rook in there. Let's call this the top seven artificial humans in the Alien All franchise. Right. All right, so we're gonna go. I'm gonna add rook here. So we got. I'm gonna name them off for everyone, just so everyone knows the names. Ash from Alien, Bishop, of course, from Aliens and Alien Three, technically. Call, who was Winona Ryder's character in Alien Resurrection, David. Of course, was from uh, from Prometheus, and that is the great Michael Fassbender. Walter, who is also in Covenant, also played by Michael Fassbender, and of course, David is also in that movie. Andy, who is in uh, who is in Alien Romulus, and Rook, of course, who is also in Alien Romulus. So, Patrick, seven to one. How do you rank your androids? Number seven, the great Renona Wider. <laughs> Renona Ryder as Call. Sorry. Uh, yeah, she's dead last for me. Just not a great Android story. Number five, or number, excuse me, number six goes to Walter in Covenant because he is truly just kind of playing the double of David. Uh, number five goes to Rook, who is Ian Holmes' double. Um, a great foil, but ultimately not really the focus of the movie. So, uh, you know, kind of the secondary droid of that movie. Number four droid will be Ash. Uh, great villain, not really a great droid because they don't really talk about him for the most part. He's not a droid in that movie. Um, then it goes Bishop, who I absolutely love and I think we all love. Um, great turn of the idea of the the droid being villainous no the droid can actually be good and altruistic and that is always going to be bishop my number two is david Th this franchise the the prequels have been controversial some people love them some people hate them but we can all agree that david is a deliciously evil villain and really is kind of the star of the prequels but my number one droid is andy from alien romulus my man took the top spot with the brand new movie i can't get this droid out of my head damon i am dying to know what are your top seven droids of the alien franchise that's a little surprising to me i'll be honest so i'm gonna go seven to one just like you i'm gonna start at number seven and i'm gonna go with rook as number seven not because i thought it was a bad character i still bump up against bringing back ian home i understand his family endorsed it but still i just think it could have gone another direction i just didn't feel like he needed to go there so i put that at the bottom because i just i didn't see it was necessary number six i go call <sighs> winona Ryder, very much a wasted character in resurrection uh going down to number five i will go walter because much like you said just kind of like a double and didn't really serve a great purpose in that movie and ultimately you know wasn't really major part of that uh number four i will go with uh david i'm not a big prometheus guy but i do love michael fassbender's performance he kind of saves those movies so i put him at number four number three i will go with ash because great villain great turn the revelation that he was an android Number two, I go Andy. I love Andy. What a sweet, just just beautiful character. I love the way it was written. And number one for me is none other than let's play the game of stabbing around the hands with our friend Bishop. I love Lance Hendrickson, and I think Bishop was just such a great twist to Aliens after what happened in Alien. Solid pick.